Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we shall look at yet another enhancement to the memory game uh, where we will have the game repeating for several cycles, right? So let me just explain what I mean by this. Uh, for this purpose, let us just look at the memory game. Now the version I'm using here is the one where I get buildings in random order. So as you can see, I'm using this another list. So everything will appear in a random order, right? But the point I'm making is that in this game right now, uh, you know, this Noor goes to four buildings. So it, she went to seven, one, three, and four, for example, here. And then ask us a bunch of questions, right? So let's say I answer this seven. Uh, no, which is no, I think it did not visit. And the pillar four was the fourth one, right? So if it answers me these questions, and the game gets over. Now let's say you want this to game run again and again. And in fact, in each round, I want to do it this way that first time Noor goes to one building, then Noor goes to second two buildings, then Noor goes to three buildings. and so on and so forth, right? So there's actually a lot of possibilities that come up here, but I'll just show you how you can do, say, uh, this game in a sequential order so that it gets over until Noor goes to all seven buildings in a certain order. And, you know, then it asks you questions, right? So, so that's what we're going to build here. Now, in fact, this is not very different from what we had done in the Find the Marble game uh, in the intermediate section where we also did this enhancement and we have the game going on forever, right? So it's really by using broadcast, but because we are using lists here, some little bit of uh, some of the considerations also come in. So let's just discuss that. Uh, remember, how does this game really work, right? There are really three steps in this game. The first step is that we place the building. So we make clones of the building and we put them on the screen, right? Now they could be done in a sequential order. They could be in a random order. That's okay, but still the step is the same. We place the buildings. Then we have Noor visiting different buildings following which there's a quiz, right? So these are the three dif distinct stages in this game. And all of these stages are controlled or sequenced through using this blue arrows, which I really mean broadcast, right? So I broadcast something from here, then I broadcast something from here, and that's how the game sequences itself, right? So now, if I want to basically, you know, make this game happen again and again, then I think you probably guessed it by now. All I have to really do is to just broadcast something backwards, from the quiz right like i said this is very similar to what we did in the uh, find the marble game it's also structured in a similar way and hence you know we'll use a similar idea here right so let's just see how we can do this in in the present game so i'm just going to modify uh, this game right here now the first thing that i'm going to do remember i want to make this whole thing as part of a broadcast right which i'm going to give later on from noor as well right so which means that i must uh, you know remove this some part of it from let's say uh, you know uh, from the when flag click right so what i will do is that i will first thing first i'll say when flag click i will create a broadcast right away right so i'll just call it let's say uh, okay. so i'll say I'll, I'll generate a broadcast here let's call it uh, let's say maybe i can call it uh, place buildings right let's just oops i don't know to say that I, in fact i okay I have to be careful here i have to say new message say place buildings right so it's sort of like you know get started uh, the reason i'm doing this is because later on i can call the same broadcast once the game is over right so that gets me moving and here instead of when flag click i'll say when i receive uh when i receive place buildings right so that way nothing changes from the beginning but like i said later on i can call this whole thing after quiz time as well i can just call this broadcast once again. So it will make sure the game actually becomes continuous, right? But before we do that, let's do a bunch of things, right? Now, remember that I want Noor to go to one building in the first try, two buildings in the second try, three buildings in the third try, and so on and so forth, right? So how do I do that, right? It's actually quite simple also. So what I will do here is that I can create a variable. And in that variable, I can keep track of how many buildings I have to really visit, right? So I will do that now. I'll just create a variable here. Let's say I'll make this variable and I'll call it, say, attempt, uh, say, attempt number. So what I mean is like attempt number could be one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to write away, as soon as the game starts, I'm going to set this attempt number to one. So I'll do this up here itself. So attempt number becomes one. Uh, yeah, attempt number becomes one. And I really, all I really need to do now is that, when Noor is going to all these different buildings, I am just going to say, previously I was going to say, well, you know, repeat four times because Noor was going to exactly four buildings. But now I will make it go to attempt number buildings, right? So I'll just say, instead of repeating, let's say one time, I'll say repeat attempt number times, right? So that what will happen is like, if it's one, then Noor goes to one building. After level one, I'll make this to two. So Noor will go to two buildings, then Noor will go to three buildings and so on and so forth, right? So all I need to do really now is that, somewhere i have to 
increase this attempt number, right? And that a logical place for that is once the quiz is over, right? So I can retain the same quiz or I can actually change the quiz also to be more suitable to this, but this quiz is also fine. Uh, so once this quiz is over, I will say, well, look, change attempt number by one, right? So notice uh, after one, it will become two, two will become three and so on and so forth once the quiz is over. Also, I must have a clause where I must decide whether Noor has already played seven rounds because notice there are seven buildings in all. So Noor, uh, you know, will, uh, uh, you know, will play only seven rounds because remember, we do not want the buildings to be repeated. So I'll put an if else condition over here. Uh, remember, this is a quiz time broadcast. So I'll say if, uh, you know, let's say if attempt number is greater than seven, then I can end the game because that's basically, you know, uh, Noor uh, has done all the seven rounds. So I can say, uh, you know, if let's say attempt number is say greater than seven and why seven? Because remember, there are four, uh, there are seven costumes in all. So once Noor has visited all seven, uh, there's no more uh, costumes to visit, right? So of course, this can be a different game where we allow Noor to repeat, but that's a totally different game, right? Uh, but in this game, we are allowing Noor to go to one building only once, right? So that's why I said that number more than seven. I can basically broadcast, let's say uh, I can have an event and say broadcast. Uh, I'll just create a new broadcast called, say, uh, you know, a new message called, say, game over. So I get out of this chain if this happens, right? And um, also, if not, if so, the number is still less than seven, all I have to really do is to say, I will, like I said, broadcast place buildings, right? So if I did this broadcast place buildings, uh, then the, remember, it will just go back to the picnic, right? Now, of course, here I can, you know, I can go to, let's say, uh, so I can say when I receive say game over right i can say game over i can maybe just say stop all and hide or something like that right so um, i can just say stop all i mean before that i can hide and, and sort of we can have a message also if you want to uh, you know but i just keep it simple i'll just hide and say stop everything right now we'll see this in action so this is really not that hard but actually there's a small mistake i've made intentionally because i want to highlight to you uh, the uh, you know a particular point right so let's say we see this game but before that i'm going to say highlight this list called noor positions right now right now noor positions is whatever from the previous game but let's say i start this game again so noor positions empty noor went to building number two and remember because of this attempt number noor went to only one building and it asked me this question right now these questions are a little uh, let's say uh, simple when the buildings are less so let's say noor asked me which building did i visit first so of course it visited two i know that uh well done, of course, right? Then Noor says, did I visit building number four? No, in fact, it was only one building, so I'll say no. Uh, Noor also said, which position did I visit building number two? So obviously the answer is one here, right? Now, this is okay, but notice what happens when the game gets restarted. Remember, buildings were placed again. This time, Noor went to two buildings, but see what happened is that list Noor positions ended up with three elements because two was from the first one, and now it has gone to two, seven, and six, right? So now this is going to cause problem because Noor went to only seven and six right now how do i fix this in fact it's quite simple the reason this is happening is because notice what we were doing here is that when the flag is getting clicked we are doing delete all of new positions but thereafter we are only adding to new positions right so as I, if i keep playing this game notice this list of new positions is only getting added and this is not what we wanted right because the, it's like a new round starting right so all i really have to do is that whenever i receive this broadcast you know uh, background ready Again, I will go and clear up this all of Noor position. So I'll just basically copy this statement. I'll say duplicate this statement and I will put this uh, delete all of say Noor positions over here. And with this, the game will work perfectly fine. So this time Noor went to seven. It asks you three questions, right? So which of course you visited seven. Uh, so did I, no, you did not visit building number five, right? Uh, did, of course you visited position number one. Now notice Noor will go to two buildings four and two and we see on the Noor positions list only four and two right and the game can just go on like this once i reach seven attempts then this game will just get over because uh you know of this condition over here right so once uh you know attempt number becomes more than seven you can see it's two now it'll keep increasing it becomes more than seven the game will get over right now in fact at this point i'll leave you a small programming challenge uh you can do many things here for example here i'm letting player play on even if he's making a mistake, he or she's making a mistake, right? Even if the answer is given wrongly, you can play on. But you can possibly say that, okay, look, if attempt number is more than seven, 
or perhaps the player has made a mistake. So player has answered any question wrongly even once, then the game can get over. So you have to modify this condition. You have to keep track of the fact that a mistake has been made somewhere, right? That is one. Second, you can also ask this player to tell you the entire sequence in which Noor visited, right? So now Noor visited, for example, building number one, let's say one building first, two buildings. So you can change these questions in a way. So the entire sequence comes out. So which building did I visit first? After that, which building? After that, watch building? So those are interesting announcements that you can do. But I'll leave that as exercises for you. So I hope you found this useful. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.